Scottish National Party is launching its official campaign this morning in Edinburgh. And we can get a preview now uh, from the SNP candidate uh, standing there, uh, Hannah Bardell. Thank you very much indeed for being uh, with us. Uh, what is the main message uh, of the SNP me. to Scottish voters? Well, our message is really about protecting the NHS. So we are announcing today that we are going to have a NHS protection bill because what we have heard in the recent months and years from the Conservative government is they will stop at nothing to damage Scotland's economy and its NHS and its society. And we have a very important decision to make here in Scotland, whether we are going to choose a path to making decisions about our own future and putting Scotland's future in Scotland's hands or continuing with a broken Westminster system that we have seen over the last three years is just mired in contro controversy and really cannot govern properly. The Westminster system is broken. Scotland needs to take a new positive path. But, I mean, health is a devolved matter. So, uh, you know, really, it's all rather pointless what you're saying, isn't it? Absolutely not. This is about trade and I sat on the trade bill committee where the SNP and uh, the Labour Party in, in the UK and in Wales had agreed on an amendment to make sure that any trade deals, particularly trade deals that impacted on Scotland or the other devolved nations NHS, had to have the consent of the devolved nations. And when we pushed that to a vote, the Labour Party abstained on their own amendment. So it's very clear that we can't trust Labour, that the Conservatives absolutely can't be trusted, and Boris Johnson wants to trade away our NHS to a right-wing uh, Trump administration, and that cannot be allowed to happen. There are real threats to our NHS in Scotland, and it is the SNP against the backdrop of cuts at Westminster that will protect, uh, that has continued to protect and invest in the NHS. And, you know, we all know that Boris Johnson's word is... <laughs> is frankly about as good as a chocolate teapot. He cannot be trusted. Um, and it is the NHS, Nicola Sturgeon, Ian Blackford and our members uh, that will go back down to Westminster, we hope in greater number, that will continue to speak up for Scotland, to protect Scotland's interests and stop Scotland from being embarrassed by this right-wing Tory government. Well, but the reality, though, is that uh, so long as there is a United Kingdom, these trade matters will be handled at a United Kingdom level. So, uh, again, it, it sounds more like a gesture than actually a practical policy. Well, frankly, Adam, you make my point for me. If we're in the position that Scotland's NHS can be traded away by dodgy trade deals with Donald Trump, then that is not something that the SNP or anybody in Scotland can allow to happen. And if the Conservatives at Westminster are really Democrats and they uh, believe in democracy, then they, I'm sure, will recognise that the SNP have a cast iron mandate to hold a Scottish independence referendum and that our public services cannot be traded away by a Westminster government that people in Scotland did not vote for. Uh, the Conservatives today are proposing uh, what they're calling a National Health Service visa to encourage uh, doctors and nurses and trained personnel uh, to come here. Uh, in the circumstances, uh, presumably you support that idea. It's a curious thing that the Conservatives are doing. They've made a terrible mess uh, with the NHS in England. They have done significant damage to the economy and now they're announcing something to try and fix the mess that they've made. As members of the EU we have huge numbers of trained NHS staff that are hugely valuable to every part of the UK and that for us is something that we want to continue. So trying to put in place a system uh, that's going to, that will not fix the damage that will be done if we leave the EU uh, on Boris's terms is, is just simply illogical. Scotland voted by 62% to remain in the EU and we want to stay in the EU. We also want power over our immigration uh, services and policy because we have a very different challenge and uh, landscape here in Scotland and unlike the right-wing Conservative government, we value our EU nationals. We want them to remain here uh, because they do a vital job in working in our public services and all parts of our economy uh, and public service across Scotland.
Now, by definition, uh, the SNP can't have a majority at Westminster. You're not uh, standing in enough seats. So what are you saying today about those parties at Westminster after an election that you will and will not uh, be prepared to do business with in a hung parliament? Well, the SNP can and have had a majority of, seat, of Scottish seats at Westminster. And we've already heard from some of the leadership in the Labour Party that they will not stand in the way of an independence referendum. I think what we have to see from uh, both the Conservatives and the Liberal Democrats is recognising democracy and recognising that Scotland has to have a say over its own future. We have won the last three Scottish elections and we have won the last to Westminster elections in Scotland. So Boris Johnson and his Conservative government need to decide whether he is a dictator or a Democrat and recognise Scotland's right to choose its own future and uh, make sure that if they really care about Scotland, I think it was very telling that last night an impartial BBC audience laughed at a Conservative MP when she said that Boris Johnson cared about Scotland. Uh, clearly people in Scotland don't think that's the case. So if Boris Johnson really does want uh, Scotland to be an equal partner in the UK, he should uh, respect the decision uh, of the Scottish people who voted by a majority for an SNP government and for uh, a majority of SNP MPs and uh, respect the fact that Scotland has a right to decide its own future. Okay, Anna Bardell, thank you very much indeed. We'll have coverage of uh, that SNP launch later on here on Sky News.